Hey there everyone, Chapter 10 has been released not too long ago and there are so many things for you to take note of so that you can enjoy to the fullest. Let's get started with the biggest things that you want to know. The brand new banner that comes with this release is the Horn banner. Horn is the brand new 6 star that is being featured along with two other 5 stars accompanying her being a new Rock Rock and a Warfarin. There's also a new 4 star coming in that is a Wandering Medic Chestnut. When pulling on this new banner, many of you would have realized a new user interface change. Now the game allows you to do 10 pulls with headhunting permits instead of just relying solely on your randoms. I believe many people are going to love this change, although personally, I wish that there was the option for me to choose a random instead of just defaulting it to the headhunting permits. But nonetheless, I believe this is a great quality of life feature that many people will like. Recruitment has been updated with new operators for you to get, being a new 4 star of Utage, a 5 star being Seisa, and 6 star being Backpipe. For the full list of operators you can get via recruitment, you can definitely see them right over here. The skin store is lined with new skins that you can buy, being those from the Raytheon Striker series. Siege, Indra, and Scavenger are the new operators receiving their skins, and I find them all so marvelous to have rushed to buy them all. There are also those skins from the Bloodline of Combat series rerunning for you guys to catch again. Lapland, Midnight, Retro, Executor, Angelina, and Saria are the ones with their skins rerunning. In the furniture store, you'll find that there's a new furniture pack called the Tempest Platoon War Room for you to buy. Very thematic and fitting of Chapter 10. On this screen over here, the operators marked with the yellow arrows are the ones receiving new English voices. There are some that I consider really good gems that I'm going to recommend you to try. I sorted them by rarity, so I'm going to do a bit of a scroll so that you can spot your favourite operators receiving these voices. If you still haven't known, you can test all the voices within the volume setting of the game. Click here, customize voices, and then click on EN as well so that you can find all the operators who have received English voices. Do remember that you can selectively choose each operator's voice within this game so you can test them over here and then I'll just click on the one that you want. The rare gems that I've stated I want to share with you guys will be people like Corosirum, Roberta, Black Knight, and Swire. These are some of the great voices that I've liked from this update and I will also say that my favourite English voice in the game right now is definitely going to be Coral Serum. It's an amazing one to listen to. Now let's explain some things you need to understand about Chapter 10. Chapter 10 is the first chapter that introduces three difficulty modes, being the Story Mode, Standard Environment and Adverse Environment. These two Standard Environments and Adverse Environment basically replaces the idea of a Normal Mode and a Challenge Mode. Now the reason for them to introduce three difficulties is because the difficulty of chapter 10 is really high. If you see the recommended operator levels, it already starts recommending you to have Elite 2 level 1 by the time you reach 10-4, which means to say you might want some really well-built operators to truly enjoy it. But if you're a new player, you want to read out on the story that this game has, this is the reason why they introduced a lower difficulty over here, being the story one. So for the story chapters, you'll get a big buff on your operators, whereby your friendly unit's HP and attack get significantly increased, redeployment time is reduced, and you get a lot of starting DP as well. So you can play this entire mode with no sanity at all, and basically you can progress through so that you can unlock the stories. There are also first time clear rewards if you haven't done it yet, but of course, since you're not spending any sanity, there will be no ability for you to material farm if you play in the story mode. So this is good for people who are rushing the story in a sense. Whereby the other two modes, being the standard and adverse, is pretty much like your normal and CM. You don't have to be too confused about them. Although, if you are in adverse mode, this basically allows you to clear the same stage across all the three difficulties. If you choose to progress via story mode first, you can see how I'm already at 10.7, but I'm not at 10.7 for the standard or the adverse because the lower difficulty tiers do not affect the higher ones. But if you do the reverse, you start from adverse first, then you'll see that it will clear everything down below as well. For the first time that you're playing a stage in adverse mode, you might find that there's a double sanity being used. So the reason for the double sanity is if you haven't cleared it in standard mode just yet. Basically to put, if you can, try to do everything in adverse, and if you are not able to, then simply start off with standard first. Now the disadvantage of the adverse difficulty mode being added is that you have to complete all the stages in order. Unlike challenge mode where you can clear maybe some stray few stages and leave one stage alone, adverse won't allow you to do that. 
So you'll need to try your best in order to get through all these stages. Now in terms of the rewards of these chapters as well, do also note that apart from the first clear rewards, there is also this little book right here where it tells you to play certain stages and then afterwards be able to get all the sweet rewards right here. There's the new 5-star welfare operator being Heidi that you can attain within 10-11. By the way, there are 4 new farming stages in chapter 10. I'm going to show them on the screen right over here so that you can reference to them. If you want the best farming drop rate and you're wondering whether to farm in standard mode or adverse mode, the answer to this is that adverse mode has a slightly better drop rate. So if you can do so, do the farming stages in adverse. But if not, even standard is okay because the standard rate is also higher than some of the older stages. Now there are two final things to note during these two weeks. As you see over here, it writes that there's a limited drop. So there's this sanity sampler that gives 10 sanity along with Rhodes Island Supply that can give you some good materials. So the drop rates of these two items is aligned according to the amount of sanity that you spend. If you have 21 sanity spend, this could give you a decent chance. If you're spending it on something like 1-7 where it's 6 sanity, that is going to give you a lower chance of these two items. So you don't have to be particular about what stage to farm because any stage is going to be perfectly fine since the percentage chance is literally tallied to the sanity spent. The second thing to note is that when you're playing during these two weeks, they're going to encourage you to clear the event off by simply allowing you to not have any sanity penalty. So as you see right here, I'm in the difficult version of this stage and then I leave and then they say sanity is refunded. Even if you go back in again, you can still retry it without any loss in sanity. And this particular bonus is only going to be given during these two weeks. Beyond that, you are still going to get the penalty where you lose half your sanity if you play in adverse mode. So again, I leave the stage and you can see it's still 21 sanity refunded. This particular encourage mode is applied only to chapter 9 and chapter 10. The earlier chapters before this, chapter 1 to chapter 8 does not have this benefit. So if you're still not done with chapter 9 as well, you can use this advantage of no sanity penalty for these two weeks to rush your chapter 9. To close off, there's a minor UI change that has been added to the game where now the enemy's HP appear in two different colors. Bosses will have their own color being in red, while the regular enemies will have their colors in orange. So this is good for you to differentiate who is the monstrosity of the stage. And with that, that's all the things you need to note about this update. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if not, I'll see you real soon in the next one. Bye-bye.